Hey kids, it's your old pal McGruff the Crime Dog here. Meet my friend Faux Paw the Techno Cat. Faux Paw and I want to help you learn to be safe when you're on the internet. You want to know more? Here's her story. <laughs> Good night, faux pas. Some of it is safe and helpful, and other places are bad and dangerous. Sometimes it's hard to tell the difference. Oh! Hey, Papa, are you ready for some fun? Then try the ball of yarn chat room. <laughs> I have a bad feeling about this. Hi! I'm Happy Fluffy Kitty Face. Do you like yarn? I adore yarn. Hey, let's get together, and I'll share my yarn with you. Jumping junipers! Never agree to meet with anyone you've connected with online. Cursor, you are in the way. When can we meet? I know just the place. Never give your name, address, or phone number to anyone online. Meet me at the light post in front of the state capitol. Here come Popo! Popo! Wait! Wait! No! Hello, Popo! I'm happy. Fluffy. Kitty face. <laughs> <laughs> Jumping junipers! Quick, Fopa, get in. Lucky tonight, faux pas. You've got an internet pal who's looking after you. Remember, keep safe. Keep away. Keep telling. I keep safe. I keep safe my personal information. All of it. I never give my real name, address, phone number, the name of my school, or a picture of myself to anyone online. I keep away from internet strangers, no matter what they tell me, because I have no way of knowing who they really are. I keep telling my parents about everything I see on the internet. I always tell them, or a trusted adult, when something makes me feel uncomfortable. Help us take a bite out of crime. Hey, Sarah. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. How do you know him? Come on, Donovan, do it like I taught you. Love the new tattoo, Sarah. Let's go! Dude, Dude, that's Sarah. Sarah. The girl in the pink shirt, that's the girl I was telling you about. Oh, that's Sarah? Theater two on your left. Hey, Sarah. What color underwear today? Hey, Sarah. 
So when are you going to post something new? Anything you post online, anyone can see. Family, friends. See you later, Sarah. Even not so friendly people. Think before you post. Hey kids, it's your old pal McGruff the Crime Dog here. Meet my friend Full Paw, the Techno Cat. We want to help you be safe on the internet, so if you run into a bully online, never respond to their flame. Did you say flame? Not this kind of flame. He's talking about people saying mean things on the internet. We call that flame. Never respond to flame. Full Paw's gonna show you why. Hello again. I'm Faux Paz, the Techno Cat. I still live in the governor's office at the Capitol building, but today I'm in Washington, D.C the heart of democracy, to visit my cousin, Ernie. Howdy, kids. Ernie used to live in the governor's mansion in Texas. He was rescued by his governor, too, just like me. Ernie has six toes on his front paws, too. Again, just like me. The extra toe makes us extra fast on a keyboard. Fastest paws in the West. And the East. Washington, D.C. Hey, kids, you want to see how fast we can type? Ooh la la! This is the office of the First Lady of the United States. Hello, faux pas. It's so nice to meet you. Please make yourself at home. Oh, thank you. Hi, Ernie. Howdy, ma'am. We'll just be doing some computer work here. Watch my six toes. Uh, that'd be 12 toes. Two paws, see? 12 toes. I'll just instant message my governor an update of my trip. Howdy, faux paw. This came from Six Toe Ernie. How can you do that? You're right here next to me. Leaping lizards. Someone's pretending to be me. I never log in with my real name. What's up, faux paw? How's life at the governor's office? He knows who I am. Imposter. Guess what, everybody? Faux Paw told someone in the Bala Yarn chat room that she lives in the Capitol building. <laughs> Can you believe it? She agreed to meet him out front. She doesn't have the sense she was born with. Who knows about that? Well, everyone does now. That imposter's sending it all over the internet. Oh, no. This is so embarrassing. It turns out that the cute little kitty she went to meet was actually a great, big, amazing, amazing strong, handsome bulldog with huge muscles and giant, no, enormous white teeth. And I would have, I mean, he would have had that faux pas for lunch if the governor hadn't gone and rescued her at the last second. I've met a lot of dumb cats, but that faux pas... We don't have to listen to this turkey. Maybe Cursor can help. Great tarnation, faux pas. What's going on here? Someone's pretending to be Ernie and saying horrible things about me on the internet. Jumping junipers. Sounds like an internet bully to me. I'm going to find out who it is. I don't know who you are, but I know. No, faux pas. Never reply to a bully. That's just what bullies want you to do. Just turn off the screen and tell an adult. But I know you're not the real Ernie, because Ernie is sitting right here next to me in the first lady's office. So you can just shut your big fat keyboard. Oh, no! That's personal information. Don't tell him where you are. So. You're right here in Washington, D.C. <laughs> How convenient. <laughs> Listen up, you two. This is a bully, maybe even a bulldoggy. This is eye-popping serious. You need to turn off the screen and tell an adult. Use the button. It's right here. 
When you see something on the internet that makes you sad or angry or uncomfortable in any way, run and tell an adult. Remember, keep safe, keep away, keep telling. This is a time for keep telling. You got it, partner. I know just the person to tell. I'm so sorry this happened, faux pas. Ernie did the right thing, telling me. Let's print your screen and send it to security. They'll figure out who this bully is. Faux pas, when people say mean things, you just have to ignore them and do what you know is right. It looks like the so-called six-toe Ernie also calls himself Happy Fluffy Kitty Face. Have you heard of him? Oh no, Kitty Face! And I told him where we are! What should we do? Security, please search the grounds for a big dog that answers to Kitty Face. tell an adult right away if anything on the internet makes you sad or worried or uncomfortable in any way adults will know how to help you remember keep safe keep away keep telling i keep safe i keep safe my personal information all of it i never give my real name address phone number the name of my school or a picture of myself to anyone online I keep away from internet strangers, no matter what they tell me, because I have no way of knowing who they really are. I keep telling my parents about everything I see on the internet. I always tell them, or a trusted adult, when something makes me feel uncomfortable. And when it comes to your internet community, be a good citizen. No one likes a bully. Be the good person online that you are when you're offline. And when something goes wrong, run and tell an adult. Goodbye, 